Hello, Invisible Audience! Um, I'm gonna make a bullet journal setup type video, which isn't something I've ever made before, but I watch a lot, and I do make pretty extravagant bullet journals just for myself and my free time because I enjoy it, so I figured it would be fun to do a video. <laughs> Yay! Um, the notebook that I'm using is from Notebook Therapy, and it's the Suki Moonflower Edition, and it is super super pretty and wonderful and good and it's got as you saw on the cover sort of moon and gold and like the flowers and the sparkles and it's wonderful and so all of my year based setup type stuff is going to try to match that kind of vibe and i do end up coming in with this later and putting in uh, a little self-portrait that i painted the other day because i like having a little picture of myself in my notebooks but not like an actual picture just a little drawing I don't know. It's I think it's cute. Um, these stickers are from my Sticky Advent Calendar um, from Sticky Club, which is a sticker subscription service that I've been subscribed to for a few years now and that I absolutely adore. If you need stickers in your life, um, I'll, I'll definitely put a link in the description because they're wonderful. Uh, those first two pages there are gonna get glued together a little bit later. Those are always really wonky in journals. Uh, and then we're gonna do a key page. And I don't actually use a key page because the key that I, or like the system that I use is one that I have been using for years and more or less made up myself. And it's just a really intuitive system for me. So I don't ever look at my key page, but I wanted one because they're nice. And mostly I just had this vision in my head of this very elaborate moon key that was all magical and golden. And I had set aside this paper crown from a Christmas cracker because the paper was really thin but also like really metallic and I knew that it would be perfect for sort of cutting into shapes and using in my journal because it's really thin and it won't make the whole thing bulky and also it's really shiny so it'll match the whole aesthetic that I had going. Sketching out the key and then getting the old X-Acto knife out to just sort of cut that out and make it exist. I have this habit where I want something but it doesn't exist. You'll see me use a lot of stickers and other types of things but sometimes the, the stickers that you want aren't real yet so you have to make them yourself and this is sort of a case of that happening <laughs> and I <laughs> kind of do this a lot just because I get visions of what I want something to look like, and if you can make it happen, why not, you know? I like making things. Um, so this, this key was something that, like, I had, like, designed in my notebook beforehand, and actually spent a lot of time figuring out what I wanted it to look like. I wanted this little cutouts in the middle to be like little star sparkles and just to be like really elaborate and magical. And I think like I think it turned out really really nice. Um, especially when you you'll see it in the the journal later and it's very pretty. Uh, especially when I get these like score lines on there, just like give it a lot of dimension. I'm gonna cut out that moon. Make sure you put your lid back on your X-Acto knife, that's very important. You don't want to stab yourself. Stabbing yourself is bad. Uh, and then we're just gonna set up the rest of the key page. I got some black paper here and I'm just gonna make sure everything lines up. I'm gonna use a white gel pen to just sort of draw a little outline. I kind of like wonky, imperfect lines, so I don't bother with a ruler here. And then I'm just gonna write out my key. Um, I adore this white gel pen.
Um, something I've, I've discovered about this journal is that the paper erases really well. I feel like I don't encounter that very often. Like, the paper is so smooth and just so wonderful. Even, like, my, my rougher pencil sketches. I have a tendency to sketch a little harder than I probably should, but it all just comes off so simply. And I just, yeah, use, use some stickers to put key because I don't like hand lettering and also I wanted them to be shiny! And I had shiny stickers! They're so shiny! Then I'm just gonna add a little some doodles. I try to incorporate the sort of planty flower type aesthetic as much as I can. It's not as prominent as the whole celestial kind of vibe that I've got going on for the rest of it, but I do try to keep those in there. And like I said earlier, this whole front part of the, the journal, the kind of stuff that I will go back to and use throughout the year, um, is all sort of based on the theme of the journal itself, but the months later of the year will all be more varied kinds of themes and stuff. This is actually uh, extremely minimal, actually. <laughs> all of these setups are, are much more minimal than I usually tend towards. Like, there's not a lot of color, there's a lot of blank space left, <laughs> and I don't normally do that. I have a tendency to just fill all of the space in my journal as much as I can. So this is actually good practice to try to get some stuff that's a little simpler. Um, and then this page that I'm working on is just a quote page, and I don't normally do a lot of quotes in my journals. Um, this is gonna sound a little conceited, I guess, but my, my reasoning <laughs> is that I don't really want other people's words in my personal journal, if that makes sense. Um, especially since a lot of times I do use them for journaling purposes, and I, I use them for, like, writing down my thoughts and my stuff, and it always felt strangely disingenuous to me um, to have just sort of random quotes uh, from other people. I will occasionally include them if it's like a specific quote that I like have some kind of connection to, but generally speaking that's just not really my vibe. I totally get why people do that and they always do look so pretty, and I think part of it is also that I'm not big on lettering. Uh, but I tried for this one, and this quote is something that I wrote. <laughs> it's just something that came from my brain. Um, and I guess it's currently upside down on the screen, but it says, um, May your positivity and kindness be reflected back in your life like the moon reflecting the sun into the night. Just a little bit of a moon thing. It matches the vibe. Um, and then the next page after that is just a super simple dot grid cheat sheet, which I think was largely popularized by Amanda Rachel Lee. And is so, so helpful. I'm so bad with numbers, and I can never remember, <laughs> like, anything. Like, how to divide a page into X number of boxes. And so having this cheat sheet is so beneficial. And there are, there are loads of other people who can explain it much better than I can, but basically it just does all the math for you, so you don't have to do it later. You can just look at this page and be like, oh yes, I need four boxes? Cool, it's this many boxes. Or four- <laughs> I need four segments, it's this many boxes. Um, then I'm just writing in the numbers so I don't have to count them, and then making a little title because pretty. 
using a gold gel pen this time. And the page next to it, because this is a page that'll probably flip to relatively frequently, uh, the page next to it is just sort of a general notes section. I'll write down ideas for stuff that I want to make or draw or projects that I want to start working on. I think in my current bullet journal it says what my NaNoWriMo project was for this year that I'd written down months in advance, so having a page like this is super useful because otherwise I will forget everything because I'm a very forgetful person and then at the bottom I've just drawn a little some just some little flowers bring in that theme a bit more and then on these next pages we're gonna do all of the calendars for the year it's my 2021 at a glance page using this sort of bigger gold marker, which writes really well on top of other stuff, to just sort of put like a dot for each month, and then I'll put the letter that that month starts with on each of those later. But first I'm gonna put some little boxes for the days of the week. And I do mess this up. <laughs> um, at the end of this row on the top here, I messed up the number of boxes. I put eight on one and six on the other and I have to go back in and fix it, but it's not the first or the last mistake that I've made in this entire setup, so I think it works out pretty well. Managed to fix it all right. Just scribble over, just scribble over your mistakes with the white gel pen and they go away. Mostly. We're not here to be perfectionists. And then I'm just grabbing my phone to double check that I get the dates right. And yes, I messed those up on occasion as well. I messed up a whole month somewhere. We're just gonna skip ahead because that takes forever. And I've been doing this with a lot of my titles in this whole setup where I go back in on one side and just give it sort of a drop shadow with this gold pen just to give it a little bit more dimension and have it all match with the gold and the black and that's all very pretty. And then of course some sparkles and some flowers. And then I realized that my calendars don't look distinct enough so I go in and put some lines in between them. And I don't actually use this page very often. I'll probably mostly just write down birthdays. Uh, the page next is just sort of a goals, aspirations, hopes kind of page. Um, I don't make very firm goals for myself ever because I know that there's a lot of things that are outside of my control. This past year has been a pretty good example of that. So my goals are usually pretty vague and often tend more towards the I hope this is something that happens rather than this is something I'm going to do for sure because you never really know what the future is going to hold and I don't want to set myself up for disappointment. So at the top I've just got like three little sections that say things to keep doing, things to start doing, and things to stop doing, which is something that I've seen used by a lot of people. I just like that kind of setup. It's like a nice simple sort of not so much goals as like reflective type things. And then at the bottom um, in the boxes I'll put goals for specific types of things. Like I think one of them is um, art related goals and one of them is sort of like health goals, like I want to exercise more and stuff. Um, but I don't actually fill this page in here because I don't know, I don't actually have all of that stuff uh, figured out quite yet.
next page is just a little health tracker. Um, so I write down all of the months at the top, just the first letter of each, and then just sort of mark, roughly mark the days. Um, and then there's sort of a column for each month of the year, and I'll track my menstrual cycle, and I'll track how often I get headaches, and then how often I just get sick in general. Because that seems like good stuff to sort of have on file, I guess. Especially since I've been getting more and more headaches as I get older, which is not great. I'd like to have a log of how often that's a thing. And then on the side, as uh, just a little like moon phase chart, because that feels like a signifier of time passing. And this is a very time-oriented spread. And then I didn't like how they looked. <laughs> I still don't really like how they look. Um, so I gave them a messy outline and then I gave them a drop shadow and I just sort of fiddled with them. Still never really loved them. Just fix all your problems with washi tape. And then this next page is uh, specific for my personal life. Uh, this is a podcast schedule page where I can write out all of the dates for the year that we will need to post an episode of our podcast, which is called Sorted, Not a Harry Potter Podcast, where we sort various media into Harry Potter houses. It's a thing. Um, and we post every other week, and I'm constantly forgetting what the dates are that we're supposed to be having a, an episode ready for because I'm bad at keeping track of that. <laughs> so I figured it would be super helpful if I just wrote it all out on one page and then I could also jot down oh, stretch break. And then I could also jot down what topics we covered on each of those episodes and then I'd have like a whole little backlog of what we did when and it would just be super nifty, and then the page next to it I'll use as just sort of general notes so that I can write stuff down so that I will remember when we record, maybe. Because <laughs> I'm never prepared when we record. Um, and this, these are the final couple pages. Um, this one that I'm working on now is a media to check out type page. So I'll just have four little boxes and in each of them I will put a different topic. But yeah, I'm just gonna make four little boxes and each one is for a different kind of media just so I have a space to write stuff down that I want to watch or listen to, or games that I want to play, or podcasts, or whatever, and I have different categories so that I can find everything easily. The categories are specifically TV, movies, um, audio-based stuff like podcasts and music, and then just other, which will be video games, board games, what have you. And then I have to go back to the last page because I remembered that I wanted to put little lines on this so they were easier to read and I forgot that they're here now. Oh, and then I found this little moon cutout and I really wanted to use it. So I'll just stick it at the front and we'll see that later. And this is the final, final page, and again, it's a page that I didn't actually end up filling out any of the stuff for. 
um, but it's a page to put lists that are my ideal routines for the morning and the night, and then just sort of a list of like self-care st type stuff if I'm in a grumpy mood, um, ways that I can make myself feel better. And then at the top there, it's a when did I last list, which I've never used before, and so I don't have a lot there on that list, but it's mostly like dental cleanings and updating my website because I need to do that more, and <laughs> that kind of thing. And I tried to put little dashes for how often I wanted to do those things, and I don't think it really worked out because I didn't measure them out appropriately. I just kind of winged it. I'm, I'm trying it out. This is, it's a new one for me, so we'll see. last couple stickers and then just a flip through. I came back and added some stickers to that moon in the front, added a little self-portrait to my front page. There's my very shiny key and my dorky little quote. Crid spacing sheet all filled out, general notes brain dump page, all of my calendars for the year. Um goals page, health tracker, podcast organizing spreads, media to check out lists, and then just general sort of maintenance stuff, I guess. And that's it. Thanks for watching.